For this presentation, I will be making short clips of the progress on wiring an automatic electric 200 line step switch. This will be a multi-part video. This particular machine has been uh, sold to a third party and I need to make it functional prior to taking it apart. These will be shipped minus the switches as complete frames, wired, and then the interconnecting cables will be connectorized so they can just be plugged back together at their destination. The bottom shelf is a hundred line of AE step switch. And this is a, I would say the third generation type line group. I do have the second generation of plunger switches and there's 50 lines in the plunger switch and once this is functional i will make a video of it operating and then below that was a line finder per line and there are two line groups the very bottom one is 25 lines the one in the middle is 25 lines and the plunger line switch is 50 lines so this will give us 100 lines in one frame and 100 lines in another. We had the connector switches, and then on a shelf above it, I do have the switches, but they're not on the shelf. Rear of the plunger line switch, and then down are the two rotary line switches. Rear of the 100 line line group back of the selectors and these are nine foot tall uh, switch frames i have a 19 inch miscellaneous relay rack with various items in it trunks intercept machine vibrator ringing and tone supplies and then there'll be a fuse panel here's the back of the shelf that i have to custom wire all of the jacks the shelves and a fuse panel i will show some of the terminal blocks that have been cleaned off and one that is being cleaned off due to the age of this equipment it's going to be all solder i've cleaned the wires off of a lot of these terminal strips so I'll just show one of them here, one of the long ones. One of the selector shelf banks, and there are four of these. This will be a bank for one of the connector shelves. There's 200 pairs of wire. I will only be wiring 150 pairs down. You can see I got the first nine or 10 uh, rows of wires cleaned off. The rest of them I'll be desoldering. I have my blowtorch soldering iron. The tip is kind of wore out, but for unsoldering it works just fine. This was what's called an American Beauty soldering iron, heavy duty. This is what the bell system used and I believe automatic electric back in the days of step and crossbar. This is not for doing SMT technology by any means, but it works great for these giant lugs that are solder. A Western Electric wire wrap bank, and this was made in the uh, very, very late 60s, early 70s and continued on into the very early 80s. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and like. The bank block with all of the wires removed and then the terminals have been cleaned up with a wire brush and the excess solder has been removed. The factory side of the bank block there's 400 wires there this is what the terminals on the bank looks like my next task will be 
to trim off all of these cut off wires so that the bank will look like it ends here. For those who would like to do this, if they're trying to build a step-by-step -step demo, this particular bank is very, very old. And the way that these are assembled, the rivets and the glue doesn't necessarily still hold together as well as it could. So I would use extreme caution when doing this because the wires are very brittle. And uh, this word of wisdom don't get in a big hurry i've cut off some of the wires or actually all of the wires that was multiple over here to the next bank you can see that they've been trimmed off inside down deep i chose not to take the sections completely apart and trim them off right here i did on this row uh, due to how brittle the wire could be and how these things fall apart so easily. If this was a modern cinch bank, I would have taken it completely apart and trimmed off the wires right at where they were um, crimped on so that it would look exactly like it did when it was left the factory. A fuse panel that I've placed new leads onto, and this will be mounted on a frame that's gonna have custom circuits on it. There'll be a few connector switches and then a whole bunch of auxiliary stuff. This concludes this uh, part one.